Okay, guys, so today uh, we're gonna be learning the verb tsuku, okay, tsuku, which means to arrive or uh, to reach. And uh, it's on regular verb, so we're gonna be changing the ku, okay, uh, for ka and ki and uh, the, the k column again. Now, let's have a look at the dictionary form tsuku. For example, ashita ni tsuku yotei desu. Ashita ni tsuku yotei desu. Ne? Yeah, this means uh, yotei is um, plan or, you know, uh, it's I'm supposed to. Uh, it's something that has been planned already and uh, it most likely is going to happen, okay? Like if you make a reservation or you actually have something to uh, to make sure that that's going to happen, okay? So, yotei. Um, and the tsuku then is arrive. So I'm supposed to arrive tomorrow. So let's say you your flight, uh, it's supposed to, you know, it, it might change, but most likely uh, you're gonna uh, do that. So that's the yotei des, okay? Now, iku yotei des. Now I'm supposed to go uh, to Japan next year. Now, nihon ni iku yotei des, ne? But it's not like maybe 100% confirmed yet, but most likely. Okay, so most likely tomorrow I will be I will be arriving tomorrow. Okay, ashita ni. Now the masuke is a uh, tsukimasu, tsukimasu. Uh, for example, chotto osoku tsukimasu. Chotto osoku tsukimasu. That which means I'll be arriving a little bit late. Ne? I'll be arriving a little bit late. Let's say somebody's waiting for you and you just send them a message like, uh, I'm gonna be arriving a little bit late, okay? So please don't freak out. Chotto osoku tsukimasu. You could say tsuku yotei desu, ne? Osoku tsuku yotei desu. If you already know that, for example, your flight is delayed or something like that. Uh, although, yeah, I don't know. Yote has this meaning that kind of you are, you're planning, you know, in advance. So I would just say choto osoku tsukimasu instead of choto osoku tsuku yote desu because you didn't really plan to arrive late, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, next one is nai, the negative form, tsukanai. Uh, so ringraku sezu ni, ringraku sezu ni tsukanai de kudasai. Now, please don't arrive without this sezuni uh, means uh, without. Without doing what? Rengraku. Um, Rengraku suru means to um, inform, okay? Uh, so, please uh, don't arrive uh, without letting me know, basically. Okay, so make sure you tell me when, what time you will be arriving. Rengraku sezuni tsukanai de kudasai. Okay, uh, rengraku kudasai uh, is something that you guys are gonna be hearing a lot. Rengraku kudasai is like you know, give me uh, give me news, ne? send me some news. Rengraku kudasai ne, like when you say goodbye to someone, like let's keep in touch. Okay, rengraku. Okay, and the last one is our teke. So teke in this case uh, we're gonna change the this for e. Okay, it's not a small tsu. It's gonna be e. So it's gonna be tsuite, tsuite, tsuite. So for example, tsuite kara rengaku shimasu. Tsuite kara rengaku shimasu. So once again we have rengaku. Now we just to inform. Uh, so I will inform you. Or I will let you know. Once I arrive, after I arrive, Natsuite kara. So I will let you know, uh, for example, that I got to Japan uh, after, okay, I arrive in Japan, no, not before. Tsuite kara Okay, so that's it, guys. This is the verb tsuku. I, ha I hope you guys liked it, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Okay, take care. Bye bye.